We're back at the crash site. And it looks like the Tetra's in good shape. Wow. They actually fixed her up. Pee pee pee! <laughs> Much of the thanks goes to my new friend, Risukuma, here. He was instrumental in the repairs. Ah, don't mention it. It's kind of ironic when you think about it. We became such close friends getting your ship ready. But that just means saying goodbye is even harder now. That's true. But no matter where we travel among the stars, I'll never forget the fun we had. And I'll miss you, S. <sighs> I'll miss you too. I mean, probably. You were a big help fixing the Tetra. You mean it? You'll... you'll... really miss me? Hey, don't twist my words. I might miss you, but not for another week or so. Sheesh. S and Magaro sitting in a tree. Magaro and S sitting in a tree. P-U-Y-O-I-N-G. That's the dumbest song I've ever heard, you two. It doesn't sound so horrible to me. Captain, it is time for us to depart. Right. Thank you, everyone. T take care, T. Ringo. <sighs> Getting one small detail? You are not leaving us behind! Pee 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 pee! But Tetraminos are still falling. And there's still Puyos in the Constellation Zone. This mystery is still wide open as far as I see it. Oh my gosh, she's right. I thought our mission was all over. Sounds like it's just getting started. The Dark Prince said something interesting for once. The culprit is someone who can travel between dimensions. I wonder. T, I'd like to go with and look for him. I have a feeling our part in this mission isn't over yet. Is that all right? You bet it is. Let's get this sideshow on the road. Huh? Y you're coming too? Naturally. You expect me to sit around here all day? Well then, it's settled. Prepare to depart. SS Tetra to the stars! There's so much space out here in space. T, the being we're looking for is named Echolo. And? He's out here somewhere. Somewhere is a pretty large area. Yeah, any idea where to start? <laughs> um, guys. I think the answer has been under our noses this whole time. There he is! He gets! That blob's been staring at us this whole time. That's Echolo? Pee 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 pee! Didn't someone mention a drooling guy? How dare you sit there and eavesdrop and drool all over! Hmm? Hey, he's getting away! Get back here, Echolo! Jazz fingers! Ah, space fish! Baby old Skater Dara's here to turn all your wishes to fishes. I got the swishes, also oh Funkalicious, moving, grooving without stitches. What the heck's going on? Ah! I hate big ugly fish! Well, excuse me for having some soul, lady. You need to go! If you don't go, then I'm going to battle you! Oh, you want to battle, miss? You got one! Please go! These guys are shellfish. I feel downright mistreated here. Hey, uh, Dancing Fish Man. Why are you up here? Not to play coy, but I'm not sure, actually. I was just doing my thing, and I felt something tugging me, so I came. Here's what you do with light hands, you a lemon, baby cakes. You shake your halibut, and you dance, dance, <laughs> dance. Gee, I feel like we could learn so much from you. Hey, Ringo, don't forget our mission. Oh, right. We need to find Echolo. Bye, Mr. Fish. The heck? 
You're just gonna up and leave like I'm some sort of weirdo? Don't make old Skater Dara swim solo! Well, well, well. Those cats really left me behind. <sighs> Guess I'm just a big fish in an even bigger pond. Yeah, just me and the sea of stars. And that other fish pit. Oh my God! Where do you come from? It is a pleasure to meet you. I am the Ocean Prince. Prince Shelbrook III at your service. Charmed, I'm sure. You see, I was fleeing from my butler and, well, I wound up here somehow. Well, Slugger, you certainly got yourself in quite a pickle. Got any idea where you are? Nope. But now you're here to take me back. This clownfish ain't hearing a word I'm saying. Look, chum, I've been floundering around these parts a while now. Silence! All we need to do is pop some Puyos, fish brain. You pop enough and it teleports you to another world. Now let's hustle! Hoy! Guess I should show this honky tonk how to hustle. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. You line up the blocks and... Oh! That's all? Bet I could use this as an ingredient for a new potion. Who's the girl with the funny hat? Oh, Boysenberry. Guess she got warped up here, too. You then. I need a magic assistant. Wanna help? Huh? Me? <laughs> yes, you. I'm doing an experiment with these blocks. But I need someone to help me. Are you challenging me to a battle? Ah, I see now. Thank you for your help. You were a good assistant. Have a nice day! <laughs> Does she even realize that she's up in space? It's impressive. She's very focused, you might say. Are you two done? We gotta follow this trail of rule before it disappears. Pee 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 Roar! Where am I? Nothing about this place looks familiar. And where'd all those weird blocks come from? There's no water and no food. I bet I'm super duper adorable as a damsel in distress. <gasps> I am the worst luck ever! I hope someone finds me before I starve so they can see how cute I am! Pee Pee? Huh? What's this chubby little thing? I wonder if I can eat it. Pee Pee! Hey, sorry, pal. But it's survival of the fittest out here! Pee 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 Pee! I'm there! Chubby thing's able to make those blocks disappear! I don't like when looks are deceiving! Pee pee pee! Is he gonna eat me? Hey there! Huh? We're lost. You see a black drooling shadowy guy sailing by? Oh, yeah! Keep on going and make a right up ahead. Then head left when the road ends. Can't miss it. Gee, thanks. You deserve a reward. I'm broke or I'd give you one. Okay. We're almost there, gang. <laughs> what a bunch of weirdos. <sighs> and now I'm all alone again. I'm hungry. <laughs> Where am I? How'd I get stranded out here? Great. What's all the crying about? Oh! A girl with horns! You can talk! Hello! Wow, that's how lonely I am? I hallucinated a girl with horns? Boy, I'm such a silly nilly. What? I am not a figment of your imagination. 
Oh, that's cute. My hallucination is trying to argue back. Hey, listen up! There's only one way to prove to you I'm real! We caught you, Ethelo! Blah? Why do you keep running away? Clearly you're behind this mess. That's no fair! Huh? What mess, Ringo? You all look like you were having fun. And you were playing with all those colored blocks. I just wanted to play too! What? We had a good game of hide and seek, didn't we? That's why you were running away? I had so much fun. Let's have more fun together. Echolo, how dare you! That was fun! You really made my day, Ringo! Why are you being weird? Look, Echolo, I want you to sit there and think about the trouble you caused. What trouble? Eh? I didn't merge the two dimensions, Ringo. Y you didn't? Um... Well, guess we jumped to conclusions, huh? Well, of course you did, Ding Brain! The bad man has powers similar to mine. He's known as the Keeper of Dimensions. The Keeper, huh? He lives way out at the edge of space-time. It's his job to make sure the world stays separate. Someone hasn't been doing his job, if you ask me. The edge of space-time. That's where we'll find the Keeper of Dimensions? I guess. Hey, you listening to me? Hey, Ringo! It isn't so easy traveling that far. You'll need the power of Puyo Puyo and Tetris. You have to use them both. If you do it just right, you can warp there. But how? Well, silly, you can't get there with your current power. Nope, you all need to get much stronger. -er -er. How do we do that? Any me me me. Well, why do you single me out and be rude? Not sure. That's not a good reason. Next, you're gonna say I need a reason to bury you in Puyo's. Bring it. I don't get buried that easy. You'll see. Hey, I won. Oh, you're no fun. Oh, well, good luck. See ya, Ringo. Hey, I'm not done with you yet. It's like talking to a spoiled child. Let's look on the bright side. He did give us a clue, right? Let's see what everyone thinks. Pee -pee. So that's where we stand. To reach the edge of space-time, we need to get stronger. Wow! I had no idea that even existed! So how do we get stronger? Um, no clue. It's easier said than done. I wish it weren't so vague. Oh my, are we in trouble? Huh? Oh! <laughs> Good day, everyone! I see some new faces now. Professor Akor! Shouldn't you be back at Print Magic School? Why are you out here? Oh, I was just passing by. Wow! Speaking of which, did I hear you were trying to become stronger? Yeah, all of us are. <laughs> Never fear. I had a sneaky feeling this might happen. So I built you all some training grounds. You built us a place to train? Without even knowing we'd need it. Oh, you're the best! Does no one else find this oddly convenient? No? Just me? I bet if we all go there and battle each other, we'll all get stronger! Hmm? That would be outrageous! <laughs> Indeed! No, instead you'll have to face your own memories! Are uh, what now? You'll be training against illusions! Close friends, powerful rivals, and everyone in between! If you beat them all up, it'll turn you more powerful! I'm not sure I get it. But it sure sounds like a hoot! Come on, everyone! What are we waiting for? 
Safe travels! I believe in you!